What's up, Lemmings? Dirt Diesel here with a uh, another episode. I don't remember what number it is of uh, Dirt Diesel's direction presented by the Triple D Network. Dirt Diesel. Third letter is D's. You know, my D's are like diary, direction, um, etc. I forget what they all are. Because I don't really have time to, you know, mess with YouTube like drivers do. Because I'm a trucker. I don't have time to have a second business. You saw my rant on that, right? On the snow day, no dough day, uh, number two, day number two video. Um... I'll put a link in if I uh, to it, but just, it's on there. It's on my uh, it's on my channel, so uh, go look at that. But uh, I don't know how much I went into it. Oh, I know what I didn't go in. The difference between drivers and truckers in the industry. You know, it's mostly drivers. Most you know, uh, most of them aren't truckers. Anyway, let's get to the point of this uh, direction. Dirk Diesel's direction. Direction. What is direction? It's lesson. Today's lesson. I got some lessons, but here's a how-to, right? Everybody knows how to jump start their battery, so I ain't gonna tell you how to do that, except for... Now, not everybody has these trash cans, but it's wet outside. We had torrential downpours last night. This bucket has a crack in it. I didn't think it could hold water, right? So, the ground is wet here. If you can see here, this is my SI. This is a uh, Ultima that I bought for my pops yesterday. Um, found it on Memorial Day weekend. His uh, 2001 town car didn't pass inspection, state inspection. So I don't know what's wrong with it because he lost the list to it. So being the mechanic I am, I would have fixed it to pass inspection but I don't know so the easiest way is just buy him another car well I did everything but pay for it but the whole buying process that's what I mean by I bought him a car and uh, I don't know if you can hear it uh, I'm getting sidetracked here but real quick I thought it was making a, a noise like the fan or something but I had the AC running on max now but I thought it was making a noise but here real quick this is what I need to do need to find out why there's no sensor plugged into this reservoir. Then I need to investigate if this reservoir is cracked because it's empty. And then uh, I need to pick up the cap for the AC. If you can hear me, I got a cigarette in my mouth. Um, yeah, it has some rust. As you can see, it's 151,001 mile when we titled it, when we transferred the title. And then uh, in my last video, uh, or I don't know if it, how I'm going to upload these, but I had another video that I only mentioned this caliper. This is a uh, driver's side front. It's a. Uh, it sounds like uh, you had like uh, no release. Like it's not. Um, I don't know how uh, with the cars, the uh, this engine running. If I'm being loud or not, so I apologize uh, to you. Uh, party people yeah another uh mention there so if i say party people you know who i'm uh giving a mention to because i don't i'm trying not to say shout out but that's what mention means anyway so i gotta figure out why that's not releasing and here i had to go well then you can't show that it'll show a structure and i can't show that anyway but uh back to where i was this is what you do This is what all you truckers need to do. See that coupon? See that coupon right there? Free. Free. Free voltmeter. Free tool for your tool. You need to have tools inside your tool. Most people don't have tools inside their tool because, like I always say, they have a toy. Or they do not own it. Or they're small money. I ain't small money. I'm big money. Anyway, it's all about the big money. You know? 
anyway I was over here and my battery died uh, I mentioned that in the last video I showed the receipt see my old battery except it don't have a sticker on it I bought this car used a couple years ago I haven't changed it yet but I know that the uh, the cranking amps is right there 625 it only has 498 of the cramp cranking amps so in the winter time when I come back for home time I always have to jump start it so I was just gonna run it through the summer but anyway back to the lesson dirt diesel's direction coupon Harbor Freight get this to put in your tractor here's where you find it all the time oh I lost my post marker because I've got to go get another one put these in your vehicle your personal vehicles it costs you nothing except for here's what you do because this is what my pops does he has a million of these this is probably free from Harbor Freight from a coupon let me put down the phone um, the camera for a second here look at my car anyway he has like 20 tape measures around he, he he don't even have to lose them he just doesn't find a home for it but right there you can see that that water tape measure in there probably not this bucket is cracked I thought it leaked so it was sitting out I put it out here because I'm at my pops property um, I here's the trash can uh, I can't show you the recycle bin because then it says what township we're in. Oh, and I think I might have. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. But anyway, torrential downpours last night. Three. That's three. That bucket was empty when I put it over here to get recycled because it's plastic. It was. Uh, anyway, so <clears throat> back to the lesson. We're at freaking seven minutes. I don't know anything and nor do I care about YouTube analytics but uh, I look on once in a while but I don't know um, I don't even care but <clears throat> to be honest with you you know my smartphone is old but uh, I think uh, the mobile for uh, us that run it uh, us folks that run, uh, run us uh, vloggers that's what I'm trying to say let me get this cigarette there let me get that out of my mouth well oh, sorry children I apologize I was being a bad role model anyway back to the uh, dirt diesels direction which is a lesson you know today's lesson and I don't know if I'm when I'm uploading these but anyway back to this I'm uh bear with me because I'm trying to find the uh, page of the ad there we go because um uh, this ad is in the pages earlier it's a double in this publication if you had that in your area so you can always find yourself these coupons right there the free coupon and the 20 and the percentage off coupon so what you do is to get one of these you have that coupon you take it in here's my bookmark next time i go in there that's my bookmark now somewhere earlier these pages is the same ad I don't know if they they went double or whatever but these these are this cars by dealer if you have them in your area my area they have it at uh, auto parts store well the auto parts store is one block away from uh, the Harbor Freight so but I try to keep these in my personal vehicles uh, I don't put them in the tractors because that's clutter anyway but here's the lesson this is the lesson the lesson is this there's tons of vlogs about that and here's my tip here's my tip see those handles it's wet on the ground right this is these are not my jumper cables if I had my power stroke my my jumper cables are are a thicker gauge than this number one and they can go I don't know the exact length if they're tw uh, 25 or 50 feet or whatever they are they're it's they're overkill they're they're, they're uh, a thicker gauge number one number two they don't have this stupid stuff on the end this stuff here I don't know if I point in but it doesn't have these little teeth things like See how I'm, uh, I can do this right now. I ain't gonna arc the block. But 
what's touching the red handles right now? It only has mine stopped there. It don't have that stupid shit on. Plus, they're twice as big to get around uh, larger applications. But mine, whatever mine length is, can go from I can pull up on the on the side of the highway with my power stroke to somebody's rear bumper, and I can connect to either battery. Power Strokes have two batteries. It's a 7.3, the only one to buy. Old school, like the school buses used to have that I rode in as a kid. Or before I drove to school. Anyway, uh, mine are long enough to go from my battery, pull up behind somebody's bumper, and uh, get to their hood. Basically, pull up behind another Power Stroke. So, like the longest Power Stroke length is... Mine is... Uh, 22 feet bumper to bumper. Uh oh, I just be quiet. Shut up, dirt. Stop yourself. Don't say it. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm done with this, so that can go back where I found it. But anyway, the, uh, I'm getting sidetracked again, like I always do. But uh, and I I just did this. Here, I'll, I'll show. You. Here, we'll do this. We'll do this real quick. Hold on. We'll do a measurement. I already did a reading. It's eight. It's bare, uh, it's just over a little bit over eight. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if the mic's covered up. We'll put you there. But real quick, we'll we'll take uh, unbox this. Uh, like people say, the millennials use that term. Uh, I'm being funny, but anyway, back to being serious. Let me see if I do this right. So if you buy one of these. Here's the instructions. You get to this page, right? This is it comes folded up this way. So I pu I put it to this page to have this out. So I'll show you the rebox it, how to re I'll rebox it. There's the instructions to know where to put these leads to the uh, device. So I think I have that right. So don't have to go in long winded details. There's the instructions. Anyway, they go back in the box and when you're done using it. So. I'm not going to tell you how to use it. I'm just going to do it to get my reading. Anyway, I think it, uh, I want to say it was eight something, eight point zero something. See if uh, I can't. I I can't do this with like. I need one more hand. I can do it eventually. Well, well now it says it's. 9.588. Well, that's not enough to get my, uh, that's not enough to get my window up. Yep. What is that in there? Safety stuff? It's like a vest. This was in my, another one of my videos. There's books. Even in my passenger vehicle. Why is this here? This is passenger door. Hello, Mr. Officer. It's right in his sight in a passenger vehicle and then right here uh, this is my uh, oh, oh wait, wait wait let me turn it the other way I gotta hide this this is my badge I rarely ever get pulled over in a passenger vehicle because I uh, obey all the laws I drive my cars like tractors the way you're supposed to I don't go over the speed limit blah 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 I abide by the rules and regulations. Anyway, I pull out that ID badge because, uh, and I and usually, and then I always self-identify. It's the only time in life that I self-identify. Uh, let's turn this off and rebox this. Reverse box it. There, I coined a new phrase that people would do: reverse boxing instead of unboxing. Revert, why why do I call it reverse boxing? Because it's like reverse engineering. So reverse engineering and unboxing had a child. That's what you that's what we called be called. So take this, put that back in there. I'm gonna put this facing out where the unit goes, like that. I have my wherever I laid it. Or did I lay it? My twisty. Anyway, I can't find it. Oh no, wait, there it is. 
So, gonna lay down the camera for a little bit. Wow, this is too long. Just uh, five, uh, 15 minutes. Anyway, I'm going to uh, reverse box this and wrap up this uh, vlog. This lesson for today. I don't know if there's a, uh, and I say lesson, or, um, and the subcategory is uh, Dirt Diesel's Direction presented by the Triple D Network. That's a, uh, Triple D is a shout out to the TV show I used to always watch. So, that's a, when I, oh, I messed up. I said shout out. I meant, I, I'm trying to stay away from using that term. Because it's not like a brotherhood term. Brotherhood, it's a, uh, I, I guess it, you know, I, I try to say uh, mention. Put a mention out for you. Anyway, this is how I put it back in. This is reverse boxing. Um, it's not going to close right, but I'm going to lay down the camera. I'm at 16 minutes now. Sorry, I, I apologize for you people. And you know, time is valuable. But uh, if you get a tip along the way, I mean, I used to go to seminars. Sometimes I go back and look over the notes of seminars. I'd be like, oh, I got this. I got notes and notes. I didn't take notes in uh, in school. I didn't have to, you know, to uh, get good grades. Oh, and here, here's a little thing. See those wiper blades? This is how I am. You see how it's all worn off there to paint? I bought this car used. It had aftermarket thing on there where it covered that. It wasn't all flush. I went to the dealer when the blades wore out. I didn't go to, so there's the two tips in here. This is a two tip uh, vlog. Tip number one. Right here, recapping. Tip number one, if I might have got, forgot this, it's wet outside or lay on the ground, you got your trash can, you know, your tote. Right there, you keep them separate. This thing's plastic, non-conductive. So, until you get the second vehicle over or to connect, uh, connect this. I'm not going to do this. Everybody knows how to jumpstart a vehicle. Bazillion vlogs out there probably for it. But anyway, that's how I re reverse box it. So, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. Yes, I ever paid for these. The entire blade with the rubber. Why? 40 bucks for one, uh, one 35 from the other, from the dealer. Why would I do that when I can just go to the big box stores or the auto parts stores and get some generic crap. Why? Because it doesn't, it's not exact fit. They're universal. Now, all this paint here is scratched off because it had a cover over there, right? But this is an investment. This is how I do, this is an example of what, how I do my tractors. I paid full price at the dealer. Well, not, I didn't pay full price. I got a discount. Well, I'm trying to say, I'll put it in different words. Instead of going to big box, getting this, you know, like the previous owner, and they didn't match either. One had a big cover and this one didn't have a cover. That, that's why it's not scratched here. So this is the third lesson in Dirt Diesel's direction presented by the Triple D Network. Anyway, so why did I do that? Why did I, why, uh, I didn't pay, but it's close to, instead of $10 at big box, $10 at big box, 20 total, plus tax, or whatever, we'll just estimate. Or if they're 15 and 15 and 30 for it to two. Why did I go to a Honda dealership and use my 20% off a list? That's what it costs, so you can figure out. If you anybody wants to figure out the math, why did I do uh, to get exact cost? Why did I, list is like, I want to say, we'll just say call this one 40 and we'll call this one 35. Why did I pay 75 instead of 20 bucks? Why? This is why. Now, what you, if you uh, shout out to Scotty D, no, no, wrong Scotty. Scotty Wilmer, the uh, vlogger that does um, uh, um, automotive stuff. He suggests about putting a new finish on here to make this smooth if they make if the blades make noise. But these are new, so they don't make noise. But when they make noise, they'll do that. But anyway, 
why did I overpay for these things instead of why, why didn't I save myself money? Well, you you invest a lot of money to begin with. The rubber part, the cartridge, eight bucks each. So sixteen dollars in the future when they wear out, because they these were original. That's what their original owner, I'm second owner, should have did with this car, right? So I go to the dealer. It's either nine or eight bucks. I'm not sure, but I have a 20% mechanics discount off a list. I don't know if that's good or bad or if I can do better, but hey, they get me my shit when I need to. Which, uh, side note, I had to pick up this idler pulley. It's making noise a little bit. You can barely hear it over the engine running. And I have my windshield replaced. This molding pops out when I go down the interstate. So, it, and I'm not gluing it in. That's not the proper technique. I'll buy a new one. This is like eight bucks after my discount. And this is, or no, before my discount, before 20%. And this is 60 bucks for this pulley. This, uh, this is idler pulley down there is tensioner. This was replaced by a previous owner by the dealer a couple years ago. This, this was a good situation uh, when I purchased this car because I'm a Volkswagen car person. All my This is the first non-Volkswagen car I bought. And all my pickups and SUVs are Fords. Anyway, I hope I didn't fuck up the area again. Oh, I apologize, kids out there. I was trying not to cuss, but that was, uh, I don't, I, my swear words are adjectives. I use them as adjectives. Wow, that's really clean. I wonder what's there. But anyway, there's been numerous, maybe I'll document it sometimes, but since I mentioned this Isler pulley, uh, um, this idler pulley, the tensioner was replaced. I offered, it was my roommate, my former roommate owned this car. So I know the history, the whole history. I don't have the receipts, but once he moved to, he bought this in another state, the previous state he lived in. And when he moved to the same state that I was a roommate with him, I can go to that, I can contact that dealer that did the service on the car and or have him to get all the history but we were roommates so for two and a half years so i know everything he did i offered to turn the wrenches for him but he was kind of we'll put it this way he doesn't use coupons he wouldn't do this coupon thing that i just said like the, you know he would not do this he would not go to harbor freight and get this cheap all you need to do he'd be the type of guy where he would go buy a 200 dollar voltmeter you know, he's that kind of person. So when it came to this repair, this, um, when the idler pulley jammed, <laughs> we were going to five bucks, you know, the place, he, uh, I only go there once every three months. I call it five bucks to get a beverage. So you know what it is. Their logo is green and white and round and they're from Seattle. Do you know now? Uh, it was, it was Vasily's last load. Vasily Aggie shot, uh, there, I'm stopping myself. There's a mention to you, uh, Vasily. Is Vasily's Vasily Aggie's last load before he started the coffee business, coffee roasted business. And um, I, um, I owe you an apology, Vasily. I um, been so damn. Well, stop myself. I've been so darn, darn. I was going to say the other word, the adjective, but we got children watching out here, and. Um, that's a mention to uh, another one. That's a mention to Outcast. There's children. I mean, I messed up earlier with that cigarette butt in the bucket. Uh, throwing it in there, getting it out of my mouth because I was starting to mumble. But hey, so you guys will know who I watch. Uh, I mean, I had time to subscribe. I need to hit the... Well, I know why I don't subscribe. I'll tell you why I don't subscribe. I only have one, one person that... I, um, I know I have it set to public on my channel but the reason I don't subscribe is um, I'll put it in there with my money bitch about something else you, I don't know how you have time to fuss and moan because uh, you got stuff to do don't worry about what I'm doing worry about what you gotta do 
That's my pops. He's 71. I got. I, I keep it real, man. Facts. Facts. And uh, I don't know if I approve. Uh, but let's put it this way. I'll watch the guy that says facts. I'll watch some of his stuff here and there, but I'm never going to subscribe. But the one reason I don't subscribe is because uh, when it comes to brotherhood, it doesn't, you know, I guess I could put my subscriptions to uh, non-public, but I have it public and set to zero, so if people are like, well, why ain't he subscribing to me? Why is Dirt not subscribing to me? Why is he talking to me all the time? There you go, Jason. I talk to you. I, I, I DM you. I comment on your uh, vlogs all the time. Now, um, I just subscribed because I wanted you to contact me because I had a situation. But anyway, but I, I figured it out. Um, after I sent that, I figured it out. I had, uh, um, but let's put it this way. I don't have a Dr. Feel Good. So, my painkiller is liquid. And I got, uh, and because I was in uh, kind of like needed uh, an aspirin and all that stuff don't work for me. And there's no, it, I mean, I'd have to take the whole bottle and I'd still get no result from aspirin, Tylenol, ibuprofen, any of that stuff. Wow, this is long-winded. This is turning into uh, 26 minutes, you know, almost 27 now. But anyway, to uh, finish up, uh, to wrap this up real quick, uh, so I needed to liquid legal liquid i'm trying to like i would just say it but there's children out there right outcast there's children out there watching our stuff or that they may not but if one watches it you know we're not role models but we may hey that guy's cool or that girl's neat we might influence them and they're not our children you know they're somebody else's children you know it's, you know, we don't need to, you know, you know what I'm saying. I, I, I'll stop it there. But anyway, um, so this here is like 60 bucks. And actually, the parts came in. I ordered them Thursday. They came in Friday, and I've been busy with, well, one of the things was, I already mentioned, getting that from my pops, all right? The other thing I mentioned in, um, that uh, I'm adding another tractor. And, um... So you gotta go to the other video for the proof. If you need proof, there's the there's the documentation. It's just the uh, I can't do a vlog on it yet because it hasn't been delivered to me yet. And the reason it hasn't been delivered to me yet is uh, the uh, authorized signer is on vacation. The decision makers already approved the deal. It's just it can't be put into ink yet because. He needs he or she needs to be present so so that's uh gonna wrap it up um this vlog was supposed to be about these coupons to get that that one lesson if you had these if you have one of these at your house totes for the garbage you know and it's wet you know everybody knows how to jump start so that's the uh, that's second lesson and why I spent $70 or I don't know what it was. Money's no object. I mean, it takes money to make money is what I meant to say. So, and I do things the proper way. Now, if the original owner had these original blades on, then I could just get the refill cartridge of the, just the wiper, just the rubber. And I was shouting out to uh, Scotty Wilmer. I, uh, I mean, mention. I mentioned Scotty because like if you he has a video it's in my uh, like list my like list is public go to my like list if you don't know who Scotty Wilmer is and look for something that says uh, new finish polish 2000 the orange bottle stuff that you buy so that's the three things anyway I gotta get rolling I had to uh, do this this branch rolls down so I made a mistake of not not having an exit strategy. I should have backed this in. I didn't know my battery was going to die because uh Don't bother. I got the last one. My pops is talking to himself. He thinks I'm supposed to do all his work for him for free. 
that ain't gonna happen. The important stuff, like the legal stuff. That, yes. Carrying those pipes if he was caught in the camera. He can do that. He don't need me to help him. I got my own sh I stopped myself. I got my own stuff. I, I, I was gonna say the other. I was gonna say the other that starts with S as four letters instead of five. So stuff. Got my own stuff to do. Well, in in, my, in one of my other videos, uh, um, when I, sh I showed my documentation or proof that I'm getting another uh, tractor, that it, it's not a um, an ink yet. But anyway, um, this this is the crank amps of this battery. I don't know how old it is because it don't have a sticker on it. When like when you buy it, um, it was put in by the previous owner, and I don't have any documentation. I guess I could ask him, but he won't remember. And he probably didn't keep paperwork for a battery because the battery programs change now. You know, it's like uh, first three years full replacement, and then after three years to seven years, they used to prorate. They don't do that anymore. It's only first three years free replacement, or after three years you uh, only get the core charge for these. So okay, there's there's some uh, information for you. Le uh, that's not really a lesson. Uh, I don't really like those guys who like they say uh, dropping a nugget. So anyway, because uh, they're not part of the brotherhood. And Bob, uh, brotherhood, you got to be a. Tr I think you got to be. You don't have to be a trucker, but drivers would be disqualified. You don't have to be a trucker to uh, qualify for member of brotherhood but you have to be a but if you're a driver I think that disqualifies you for the brotherhood anyway um, I had this tested and it's four four hundred and ninety eight and I don't know why I, I think I left my key in there when I was over here and my pops uh, checking up and helping out so like winter time when I came back from like over the road, this thing would, uh, uh, you know, when it, I'd have to jump start every time. I was just trying to get through the summer before replacing it. And I got bigger fish to fry. So anyway, so I, I this dirt diesel signing off for now. And uh, if drivers, stop driving dirty.